Hello and welcome back. So let's address the last two lectures in this model, Model 3, which are me mesh conversion and geometry and mesh manipulation. One thing that is already you know about this, you can safely skip this video, it's just going to show you this new, uh, these options that you have also available. So rem you don't, when generating the mesh, you need to rely on the tools that comes with open from the machine tools. You can also import mesh for external solvers and there are a few applications available to convert the mesh, okay? So here in this directory, you will find all this directory where there are a few meshes, okay? The important thing also when you convert the, the, the mesh is that you will always need to adapt this boundary file, okay? Because when open phone is converting from another solver, it doesn't recognize but one, what boundary conditions are coming there. So like when we have done when generating the, the meshes, you will need also to adapt again your boundary file. So in this directory, if your open phone installation, you have a few of the mesh and conversion uh, applications so this is very complete so the the ones that I use most often most of the time is this one to convert from Fluent I use the Fluent tools and this tool but also you have Gmesh conversion and ideas tech gen okay even star CCN uh, conversion utilities you have it there so as you see many applications very complete so it's up to you to use any tool any other two. So let's just to show you the conversion. We already have used the one for from Fluent in tutorial in module one, but now just to show you an, another one. So if you go to this directory, okay, here you can use the ideas UMB. This is another format. So for instance, you are using Salome, you will save the meshes in Salome using this format. So you go there, you just do your cleaning and then just use the command and then you give the relative path or you can you give also the absolute path where you have that mesh and that's all then you always check your mesh and you can visualize in Paraphon and at the end always remember that okay you have an output okay you can get a message what is happening but always at the end always adapt your boundary file so see when you convert it this specific uh, utility, it will assign everything the type patch, which might not be what you want. You might want the pie to be a wall, so you need to do it or manually, or you can use font dictionary or, or create patch. It's up to you. And if you don't like the names, also you can change the names. Okay. So also extremely important when you are creating the meshes using external tools, also create those those surfaces or boundary surfaces or name selection like it's called in some other software. So you can assign boundary. If you don't create that, you are going to get the same problem as the one we get get in the, with the Pi case that we were not able to assign the patches then you need to use auto patch and that kind of tools. Okay. So don't do not forget to do that when using your external tool. So you have as you do some exercise. So uh, I recommend you here just to play around with create patch and font dictionary, you not know, to adapt the cases. Okay, so you have the <clears throat> this case that we were using. So try to rename the patches using create patch and font dictionary just to get used. You have previous the, the cases you can get there you now idea how to use the tool also an optional tool after convert uh, an, an optional exercise after converting the mesh you can add inflation layers okay there is no problem honestly i, I don't see uh i don't see any any reason why to do it but it doesn't matter the format of the mesh it can be excess it can be tetra poly you can add the inflation layers. remember the inflation layers is just going to push away the mesh and then fit that prismatic layer so there is no remission of the original mesh okay so just to show you this case and just to remind you that we have it here and there you are going to to, to find several ca cases so see that we have uh, mesh conversion sa sandbox and see that they are in different formats different meshes you have salome g mesh star ccn and plot 3d format and fluent so this is a very popular uh, former plot to the for the guys you now working in NASA. Okay, so you are going to find many meshes in the format in the internet, so you you can convert it. So let's work just in the in the first one, and here you have your usual steps. You open, okay. You're going to see your steps, 
and you need to give always in all formats you need to give actual a relative path okay so in my case just let me open here my window <coughs> with nine and then just remember that when i always introduce new tools and you know what they're doing use always the command phone info now so this one was ideas umb so you go phone info and see that it's giving you some basic for uh, <coughs> information if you want to know there are the locations the source code you can have it there you can open the file okay and you have this the description you can see what it's doing and that's all okay so let's use this command so if i run sh run mesh it's going to run all the steps and see that it's converting the mesh it is detecting the name of the patches but it's not detecting the tab the, the type the type is something of open form okay so in this case it will assign everything automatically to patch okay influence you use the case from fluent influent it will sometimes it will recognize when you have walls or symmetry but again it's the same concept that you will need to modify the file boundary manually okay so after you have that you go poly mesh boundary so you can modify it manually or creating care we're using create batch font dictionary so if you don't like this name you can call it and then we call it banana and probably at the end of the day this will be a wall so you put it wall and there you go so now if you launch part of them okay see that you have your mesh and you have the names there okay the, the one that you just adapted with the type there and just to show you that this is a mesh, a tetra mesh, okay? So you can use tetra meshes with no problem. And then you can go that extra step that you can add the boundary layer. There is no problem, okay? So as you go here, you will see different commands, different directories. So for instance, let me go to M5. It will be the same. Now in run mesh, see that we're using this command. So you don't know what it's doing for one info. And there you have some information, location. Also, you can go minus help, and it will give you some general help. Something that I want to point out that there are two commands for Fluent. You have Fluent 3D Mesh and Fluent Mesh, okay? So one is for 2D meshes, one is for 3D. Remember that in Fluent, you, you have this option. So that's all. And you run in the same way. So see that you convert it, it will give you a report. It will detect the name of the patches. That's an important. You need to create those surface patches, boundaries, okay, to assign boundary conditions. But regarding to the type, you will need net then to adapt that to what you are doing, okay? So let me go here now, in this case, and always open the boundary file and see that in this case in, in, it will recognize some of the boundary conditions in, in fluent but not necessarily okay let's see that in case you want seen to be symmetry this keyword you can save it safely downstream patch patch wall okay so see that it recognizes some of them but not necessarily will recognize everything you always will need to open the file and check names and type okay so that is all for what it comes to to mesh conversions thank you for your attention see you in the next video bye